Hey everyone, I'm Paul Parmelo. Thank you for joining me on another one of my videos. If you remember in the past, I made a test tube flower vase. Um, I went online and bought these test tubes. This one is three quarters of an inch thick by six inches long. And I used a block of wood uh, that is three by three. And um, I got one similar here that I had cut from a log. Uh, people have been commenting to me that uh, they can't find wood like this or uh, they can't make it on their own. So today we're going to use just a piece of scrap wood. This is a piece of oak. Um, I'm just going to uh, cut it out on the bandsaw and uh, we're going to make another one out of this. Now it has to be thick enough that it's going to be able to stand easily on its own. This one happens to be an inch and a quarter thick. Um, my test tube is six inches long. I'm going to uh, cut out a base about an inch from the top and I want the test tube to stick out a bit at the top so I'm going to cut this piece of wood six inches uh, that way the test tube will fit in nicely. I'm going to put some uh, painters tape on this so I can draw out my pattern. Now this is where your imagination comes in. You can literally draw anything you want. I'm going to uh, cut out the outside and hollow out the inside. I'm going to measure up one inch uh, so my test tube will stop right here. I don't think I want the test tube in the center because by the time I cut out the outside I think it's going to look too much like a laboratory flask. So I'm going to offset the test tube and keep this edge relatively straight and make all my curves over here. Now since the center is going to be hollow the only part that's holding on to the test tube is this top section. Um, I'd like a little more support in behind so the inside cut I'm going to make it so it, it comes back and, and holds the middle of the test tube somehow. So I'm going to take my pencil, my eraser, and I'm just going to start drawing and erasing and modifying until I get something that, that I want. So I came up with a pattern here. And uh, you can see my test tube is going to sit right here, stopping at an inch from the bottom. Uh, you can see the pattern here where it comes back in just to support the middle of the uh, test tube. So now I'm going to take a three quarter inch spade bit and I'm going to bring it over to my drill press and I'm going to drill down. I need to go at least past this support part right here. So I only need to drill down to about here. The rest is going to be cut out on the bandsaw. You can see that I'm well below my support piece. So now off to the bandsaw. Now we'll get into some sanding. The test tube fits in nicely. You can see where it's supported in the middle. Uh, now I'm going to bring it over to the router table and just put on a little edging on it and uh, inside and out. But I'm going to stay away from this part here because of the drill hole. It's very thin so I'm just going to route over all around it but stay away from this side. This is my favorite part. When you put oil on oak, just look at how it makes the grain pop. Well, there it is. Put my test tube in. I got this decorative flower that you can 
put in as well. You might be able to fill up the uh, test tube with uh, sand or glitter, whatever you like. A nice test tube vase. Very easy to make, takes little material, makes a great gift. Thank you very much for joining me on another video. We'll see you next time.